Aloha and welcome back to JSA TV live the newsroom for tech telecom and data center professionals I'm Buffy Harakitis and we are live from PTC 23 the biggest PTC annual conference to date here in sunny Honolulu Hawaii and joining me today is Gary Connolly of host in Ireland hello Buffy how are you so nice to see you welcome to JSA TV here at PTC thank you and I absolutely love your jacket oh thank it's you it's Kelly green it's right on point <laughs> we're gonna get on really well yes we are so <laughs> not only green for Ireland uh, but also green for greener data mm -hmm. uh, our movement here mm -hmm. at JSA uh, our sustainability movement so we just launched in case you didn't already know our greener data directory yesterday uh, so I'm Congratulations, it's that. great, I saw it. Thank you so much. Yeah. So how has uh, PTC been for you this year, Gar? Well, I'm a total newbie here. Oh. It's, yeah, so it took me maybe a day and a half just to get to know the <laughs> coordinates of where everything is it's and where everything isn't. Yeah. Um, when you're used to going to an event that's a single venue, you don't know that there's great vibes going on everywhere. Everywhere. And uh, often, the most activity is not in the main venue. So it's been great. and. Uh, you know, you can't complain when you've come from snow to go to nice weather. Exactly. Um, um, but yeah, it's been good so far. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, well, I'm glad that you are having a great show here. I mean, we saw you not that long ago, uh, back in November now, Yeah. Uh, where we supported your first International Difference Day. So Absolutely. we were honored to be a part of that. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about that? initiative and yeah. all the wonderful things that you're doing so w what we realized um as hosts in ireland is if we're anything we're a community right and we're trying to get different aspects of that community to the fore and often it's about the people not about the data not about the centers right. not about whether you've got a great title or not about whether you're changing the world or not so we found that if we brought people together all over some sort of a purpose of common interest we could get people actually really excited. And uh, that's why three years ago now, we actually launched the, fir the world's first data center specific pollinator plan. Okay. But what's that? Well, actually it's just 40 to 45 things that data or digital infrastructure people, people can do to help the little bees. Okay. Whether that's just not cut your grass or put a little a bee box in your courtyard. So that was fantastic and that was all great. Got lots of PR. But then we said, imagine if we could bring that community together by doing something tangible. And that's why we have different stays. Right. So our first different stay, you're absolutely right, was in North Virginia. It was with a community farm. And we laid out, uh, I think we ended up with 37 raised beds, of which you right. and your colleagues yeah. were out there with your shovels. And it was, are you allowed to say it on this show? We shifted a lot of shit. <laughs> a lot. We and we put them in raised beds and i have a little memento for you oh, that i'd like to present you so to you much. and it's a it's it's just to acknowledge the difference day uh as i say the 37 raised beds they reckon will pollinate fruit which will then uh help the bees survive so well done on that on oh, your part it was I'm our so honor it was an honor and a pleasure uh, to be a part of that yeah. day yeah. uh you know the jsa family we are really big on supporting anything and everything that helps the environment yeah. um and just to make the world a better place so and i guess a, a case in point is i remember absolutely nothing about the dcd connect event <laughs> that was on at the same time but i remember nearly the first names the second names the people that turned up there was 120 people right. from all of the community from the data center people to the energy people to the telecoms it's people wonderful. and you know when you find a, a purpose of common interest right you can sort of you don't say well, what do you buy and what do you sell right you say you hold that bucket i'm gonna put this in and don't miss and then carry it over there right. and you get to know people yes and that's the fun it is and uh, so thank you for joining us and most important thanks for telling people yes because there's a lot of great people even here who do great things and they're not told the, their stories aren't told. It's usually the guy with the biggest budget and the loudest right. voice. So thank well, you. You're welcome. It was an honor and a pleasure yeah. uh, to support that, to get the word out there. Uh, obviously, you know, JSA, 18 yeah. years in the business. Uh, we are uh, true at heart storytellers. Yeah. So uh, it was an so honor. So now we have a new story. Yes. All right. Well, moving along uh, from that, I mean, you know, you have your own LinkedIn live show. 
yeah. uh, on sustainability. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that and what you're optimistic about coming in the future. I, I, the LinkedIn show is called Bits, Bites and Banter. Bits, Bites and Banter. Right. Okay. So I'm, I think it's more of the banter bit because, again, <laughs> what we like to bring on, like you guys, to be fair, is bring in people who have good stories, right? good backstories. And then we'll get to the digital infrastructure stuff. Because we can learn so much, can't we, from retail, hotels, and all these other industries that have gone before us that help us actually, oh, maybe I won't make that mistake with this. Because when you get new, innovative, young, vibrant people, right. you know, they think they've invented music. Well, they haven't. <laughs> we all think we invent music when we're 17, but we're just playing the same 12 notes over and over. So that's what the show's about. And then we bring out what's good, because it's hard, isn't it? This sustainability story yeah. and this whole technical challenge of reducing carbon emissions is so vast so yeah. huge it's that huge. we have to distill it down into smaller silos where people can understand because yeah. when we try and say well you need to do this and you need to do that it can be hard because it can be out of your control how can i control the carbon emissions of that make up this microphone right very hard but i need a microphone but then I can go and do other things that are within my control. And I think that's what's more coming out in our stories is that people now understand there's a challenge. Right. So ignorance is no defense. Key thing. We can't use ignorance as a defense anymore. We may, we may question why the climate is changing, but it is. It is. It definitely it is. is. And it's, it's so critical uh, that we do come together as an industry uh, to do everything that we can yeah. to save the planet. So uh, where can viewers go if they want to learn more about that show? Just LinkedIn, go okay. on to my uh, Gary Conley, uh, Host in Ireland is, is our initiative. And uh, we show it out every second week on a Thursday, I think. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to check that out. Uh, and Host in Ireland just announced its largest uh, membership initiative to date. Mm, uh, why don't you, today, yeah. congratulations, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about that? So the name actually might be a bit misleading now, Host okay. in Ireland, because really what we are is over the last eight years since we launched it is it's about Ireland and the Irish. It's the influence the Irish people have on the design, the build, the operation of the digital global infrastructure space. So I'm sure many of you know Donna Roach from Stack and all mm -hmm. these all these Irish people. So really now what we're doing is we're promoting the Irish, the essence of being okay. Ireland and Ireland, trying to bring it all together. And the 54 partners we have now are not just hosting companies, they're design companies, they're renewable energy companies. Right. They're people who are actually in the middle of doing power purchase agreements. They're people who are running the wires. Because our sense is, is that if we just concentrate on, on the end piece, like the, the, the router on the end of a fiber, and not talking about the fiber, and the data center, we're only getting very narrow and very deep right. in one aspect of what is the digital infrastructure space. So we've all sorts of partners now, from engineers to suppliers to data center operators. And I think that allows itself for a much more open and interesting discussion. Because if we bring 10 of the same together, well, you're a green one of what I'm a blue one and right. you're a yellow one. And you get a bit sparks, don't you? Oh, my blue one is much better than your yellow one. Whereas you have the supply chain in there. It's like yourselves. If you look at your partner listing, it's the full breadth of the ecosystem. Right, yeah. And that helps you then actually make connection points, stories to tell yes, stories yeah. rather than just one element of it. So the 54 are from all parts of the ecosystem. And that's what I'm excited about. This year we have our first uh, legal firm. Oh. Yeah. Nice. One of them. And they're coming in and they're basically, they'll help us with understanding data privacy, data okay. protection data security, data Which compliance. Another very important oh, hot topic, right? For sure. We, yeah. we have all this data. Can we keep it secure? Right. So while they're coming in as a partner in a safe environment behind the firewall, as it were, mm -hmm. they can teach us. So we're happy 54 and uh, we probably could have more. But to be honest, you have to know what blend of partners you want right. to satisfy a coherent message. Because if you expand it too broad, then you, you, you don't tell a message at all. So what we try and do is uh, we try and get people, like-minded people, irrespective of your brand, like-minded people. It doesn't matter about your brand. Let's find the area of common interest. And most people at the moment, I think post-COVID, realize we're human. We're more human than we like to believe. 
than ever before. Yeah. Oh, I think digital infrastructure saved our lives. Zoom and all that on demand and schools at home and all the rest. But even introverts realize, God, I love now meeting an old pal or I love going out into a peer meeting and just talking stuff. Yeah. So that's what we think Hosting Ireland can, uh, creates. It's a, it's a community of like-minded people that really firstly want to actually share experiences. And that's, I guess, how DCs for Bees came out. Because the kids of those people said, we need to go home and actually say, we're not saving the world. We're doing this right. to save the world. Whereas, that's amazing. Yeah, little tangible yeah. things. And it's in your book. We, we yes. were delighted to uh, participate in the book. Well, thank you so much yeah. for being a part of our book yeah. and the Greener Data Movement. Yeah. This is it. Uh, so we're so honored to be speaking with you today. Thank you. Thank you again for this. You yes, the little difference day, DCs yeah. for bees. Our, our plaque here there for participating go. in the uh, first International Difference Day. Uh, we will put it on our display, our Thank trophy you. display that just keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> but uh, we are honored uh, uh, to be a part Thank of you. this. And congrats on this big announcement that you yeah. had today. Such an honor to speak with you. Uh, where can viewers go if they want to learn more? HostedIreland.com. HostedIreland.com. Well, thanks again, viewers, for tuning in to another fabulous episode of JSA TV live from PTC 23. Happy networking.